What's up guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. I wanted to talk about Chandler from Mr. Beast's YouTube channel and give an update on his island that he won a few videos back. The reason why I wanted to talk about it today though is because Mr. Beast has quickly become one of my favorite YouTubers. Um, I love everything that he does as far as his challenges and how many, uh, you know, how much money he gives away and how many people he's able to help in his videos and stuff. So like that's something that I'm like really into and like a goal. I aspire to have but yeah you know having a YouTube channel like his is something I aspire to have in the future where I'm able to help out you know lots and lots of people through my videos and just through my business alone so that'd be really awesome so that's one of the reasons why um, you know I'm really into Mr. Beast right now as I mentioned in the vlog from la uh, last weekend um, you know when I first started YouTube channel it was all about comedy for me um, I was in it for the comedy and I loved all the you know like Jimmy Tatro um, and the Cody Ko's of the world even though Cody Ko came a little bit later but he's like on top right now and like he's another like style YouTube channel that I want to go for so I'm gonna be doing more styles like this talking head talking about my favorite youtubers but let's get into the video guys update from the island it was amazing I had fun with my friends and I loved it I got a free island only reason I couldn't keep the island guys I couldn't keep it is because of taxes Okay, so starting off the bat, he said he couldn't keep it because of taxes, and I wonder if that's true or not. Um, I didn't really do any investigating or anything, but um, from what I've heard before is Mr. Beast um, always pays the taxes on all of his giveaways so that they don't have to like worry about that. But I think that he doesn't mean like, even though he does say in there um, that when you get an island, uh, the government will make you pay taxes on that island, but... Um, and I do believe that that's true, but I think, I think Jimmy took care of the initial tax of like giving it away. Say like you win a car and like a giveaway of some sort, maybe like a Mr. Beast giveaway. Let's actually not use his, but like a giveaway and like maybe a radio station's giving away a car or you know, a YouTube channel's giving away a car. You have to pay taxes on that car. So like whatever the car is worth, you pay taxes on the amount that you want or even in the lottery. Like if you win the lottery a million bucks, you don't just get a million dollars. You have to pay taxes on that million dollars. So that's a lot of reasons why people get into trouble that kind of stuff so I mean I totally understand um, the fact that he gave away his island but it, I mean uh, the fact that he sold his island but you know it's a little bit sad you know and I, and I think someone like him who's a big youtuber should have money I just think that you know with an island like that he probably had no use for it I mean like what are you gonna do you, you, you can think of like a million things right now like oh I'd party on there I'd hang out there I'd live there but you know, there's probably not like the best water source. There's no stores. Eventually, you get bored. There's no internet. You'd have to build all that stuff, and all that costs money. So unless you're someone like Jeffrey Epstein, you know, then you you don't you know you're not going to be able to uh, you know pay for all that kind of stuff. You know, and build your island up and make it the place that you want to make it. So um, I totally agree with you know the reason why I sold that. I mean, I would have that would have been my plan the whole time. The government will make you pay taxes on something you could get for free. And I didn't have hundreds of thousands of dollars to pay on taxes. So I had to sell the island, which sucks. I mean, he's not lying, you know, like I said, you, you have to pay taxes even on your, your home and everything. So, and, the, and like your, the, the home that you own. So I just feel like, uh, you know, it makes sense that the taxes were probably super high. And this is another reason why, even if I become, you know, super successful and super rich, I don't really want a big house. I want a, a decent sized house, but I don't want a mansion and I don't want a few of them because you have to pay for all those houses that you're not even in. You have to pay for all those cars that you don't even drive all the time. Just, you know, one, two cars, one house, maybe a vacation, I don't know. Because I loved having an island, like who doesn't, but. I mean, yeah, I mean, I think it would be cool to say that it's, it, 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 I have an island, but once again, you know, going into that challenge, whatever it was, um, I think it was the, the, on the island, there was a bunch of different challenges that they had to do. It's kind of like a survivor style video. Going into that challenge, I would have known immediately that I was gonna sell that island as soon as I won because uh, that's a lot of money, $800,000. I mean, you'd have to pay the taxes on selling that and you know the fees and all that stuff. So he probably got around like $600,000. I don't know, I'm not a realtor or anything, but he definitely made out like a bandit. And um, if I had the island, I probably wouldn't have sold it right away, maybe kept it for a month and then sold it. Just so you know, I could do those things that I said that I wanted to do, party on it, hang out, sleep on it camp on it whatever you know you know i just didn't have hundreds of thousands of dollars to pay in taxes but i sold it i covered the taxes with the money and i got some so that's that's nice but it just sucks i couldn't keep it because of taxes but thanks to jimmy for the island and uh it all worked out i got some i got a little bit of money and we got a great video so i love you 
and thank you guys so yeah that's pretty much it you know he did sell the island i would love to know what you guys would have done with an island if you want an island and you know what you would have named the island maybe go ahead and leave that down below and i really appreciate you guys you know tuning in today if you're new to this channel this was kind of a newer video for me talking about you know another youtuber and doing you know something like this i usually do tutorials and vlogs and a little bit of self-help stuff but um, you know, I'm kind of new and I'm growing a little bit, so I'm trying to figure out like what I want to do next. So, um, you know, if you really like this style of video, please let me know. Comment down below what you would do with that island, what you would name it, or if you would sell it. And uh, please subscribe. Thanks. Peace.